Hey there fellow Minecraftians, welcome to another mod showcase and today I'm taking a look at the Magic Utilities mod. Now this mod adds several different magical items to Minecraft and the creator of this mod is Lemons. It is version 1.2.1 right now and it's available for Minecraft 1.5.2. There's one extra requirement and that is that you will need a Minecraft Forge. So let's go back to Minecraft so I can show you this mod. Now, like I said, it adds several new items to Minecraft. And the crafting recipes are all based on this item. The unstable core, which we'll need. And this is endgame stuff, as it is really, really expensive to make. Because it is crafted like this. Either a diamond block, some end stone, some netherrack and stone for one unstable core. Or you can change the diamond block with a nether star, which is also very hard to get and then you will get five unstable cores and you can create these things with the unstable cores i'll start off with the vial of life create it like this like i said an unstable core some bone seeds and grass blocks just like that which will give you the vial of life now what this is is basically unlimited bone meal so i can just plump down on the ground like that as you can see there's a sound or as you can hear but um, it also works like this on trees and yeah it's just it just acts like bone meal next thing is the bag of unstable air crafted like this with an again an unstable core some diamond and a leather and this is basically a portable jetpack just right click it and it will be thrown up in the air very high <laughs> Um, you still take full damage, so you want to watch out with that if you're low on health. Um, let's see if I can land this properly. Ouch. Um, you can uh, also use this when you're, for example, falling off a cliff. If you just right click at the last moment, you will save yourself from dying. And yeah, that's pretty cool. It's not a lot more to it, it's just a portable jetpack, more or less. Next thing is the sustenance calibrator crafted like this with a lot of food <laughs> and as you can already guess it has something to do with food as well what this does is when you right click it it will take some health away from you and it will put it in your food bar and then you can start healing again when you have enough food now I'm almost dead so I'm not going to do it one more time because then I'll die I do not want to do that um, I will I actually may have some food in here. There we go. I'll just eat it so I can heal up again. There we go. And um, the next thing is the weather disruptor. Pretty self explanatory. But um, I'll show you it. Craft like this. Not as expensive as other ones. But you can just do like this. Ololo, ololo. Right click. And it will start to pour. Now, what is a bit more useful is that you can also do the reverse. Ololo, ololo. And it will stop raining, which is, I think, <laughs> the thing that most people will use, because rain is annoying. Also, the Wallalo is optional, but I do recommend doing it, just for reasons or something. <laughs> and the next is the Time Manipulator, um, crafted like uh, this. Four clocks from redstone, and again, an unstable core. And this will allow you to go through time a bit quicker I'll go to f5 mode so you can see the Sun as you can see ooh, little buggy but um just time goes a lot faster every time you click and you can simply make a day very quickly like or night very quickly like this it just allows you to speed up time and I'll actually set it back to whoops wrong one there we go back to time zero now here we have the life extractor it is pretty simple it will just take it's a it's a very weak sword basically which will transfer and absorb the health you take away from this pig for example and put it to your health now i'm f full on health so i'm not going to get healed a lot uh, see that <laughs> it was half a heart that uh, was gained again because i hit this pig with this nice life extractor sword but this is not effective as a weapon I can actually go down here because there should be a lot of mobs oh damn there are a lot of mobs and I will die but whatever 
Now, as you can see, once I hit mobs, ouch, ouch, ouch. Whoa, what the fuck. <laughs> um, oh shit, that's a lot of creepers. No. So, like I said, that wasn't my best idea thus far. But um, anyway, that's what the life extractor does. Pretty simple. And the last thing is the Staff of Lightning, which is more or less a bit of a work in progress um, item. It doesn't really work that well yet, but it will in the future probably, but it just allows you to cast lightning like that. Only the sound is a bit buggy, sometimes there isn't sound, sometimes there is, and it doesn't really do damage or anything. It's, it's a bit weird, it doesn't really work yet, but it will probably be working in the future. You also can't craft it yet. Um, oh, I also didn't even show you the crafting recipe for this. It's crafted like this, with a stick and a diamond, and of course, once again, an unstable core. But um, that's it for this mod then. I really like it. it, I think it has great potential, especially because the crafting recipes are quite expensive, which I really, really like, just so these items aren't as overpowered. It's really an endgame item, uh, all of these are, because of this unstable core, which it just costs a lot. And for the rest, yeah, go check this out. I'll put the link, as always, in the description. For the rest, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you the next time. Oh,